I just wanted to show you this awesome view that I got from here. It's even awesomer than the one I showed you before. And I'm fixing to show you, you know, here's part of downtown Atlanta. I always go over here, more of downtown Atlanta. Now the vertical up from here is quite something else. Even though I'm a good long distance away from falling off, I have this feeling I'm being pulled down. <laughs> yeah, take a look at this. I just go straight up. I just wanted to show you something here. I took a little break for a moment, but I just wanted to show you something now that I rested. I climbed that rail area that I showed you earlier, and I'll show you up from the top view of what kind of incline it was that I was going up. You might be able to see it go down. But one thing I gotta tell you about those rails which I used to climb up. You know, in this hot summer July sun, those rails are very hot. Maybe they could have painted them or something. But to show you an idea of how much further, you can look down and you might be able to see that gap down there. That's where you know, the trail is. That's where I was earlier. If you look down, you might be able to see some people walking up way down that way. But, oh well. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. One thing I want to say is, you know, while I'm climbing up, if you're, in, if you're traveling in a group, a good rule of thumb is to travel as fast as the slowest member in your party. Because you don't want to overexert somebody. Sure, you can do the trail easily, but if somebody is having some problems and can't do it as good as you, you don't want to put them through more stress than they need to be. Now what we have here is some sort of tower base that held something at one time or another. Don't know what exactly was here, but obviously it's, well, not here anymore. But just something to show you for your interest. And this is part of the white trail, which I guess is the Indian trail, which I showed you on that marble plaque earlier. But well, it could be. But I don't know if you can see it because, well, it's basically white painted on white. Maybe they could have went with a, maybe a different color, like a red or a blue or something. Final push up to the top of the mountain. One thing I wanted to show you is here, is on this white path line here. You can see that so many people have walked down this area that the patina on the granite has been you know, completely removed and it's just white that you can see a, a whole white path. And you can actually see this white path from the highway down that way, which is a couple miles down. Well, I finally made it. I'm here at the top of the mountain. I'm at the top of the world and I claim this hill in the name of the blue team. But anyway, there's quite a few interesting things that I've seen up on the way up to the top of Stone Mountain. I'll show you. There are these pools which the water form in which I showed you earlier. It rained today. So that made a lot of, of the puddles which I supposedly have you know, plankton in them or some sort of biological life which only blooms when the uh, rain is out. And here's something interesting. Here, you know, right here, is a survey marker of the top of Stone Mountain. Proof that I'm here, that I made it to the top. Another thing I want to show you, I don't know if you can see it, is that there are all these, uh, basically, golf ball to softball size temples all over the surface of the, of the mountain. But I would, would like to find out what that is for. I mean, how it came to happen. Just wanted to show you, you know, I made it to the top of the mountain. You know, I was talking about how it was hot and everything with the humidity climbing up here. 
but there's a stiff breeze up here. Now it's not quite so hot as it was before. But what I wanted to show you is, I believe that is, you know, the green wear. I believe that the laser show will be held, which I will be down there later today. You know, relaxing and just sitting back for several hours till it gets dark and get to see the laser show. And over there, well, you can see that's the lift building. Some people take the sky bucket. And there's one coming up. Slowly. Some people take the sky bucket because they don't want to well, walk up here. But, you know, it takes... I really don't want to spend the money to do that. And, you know, the whole thing is to climb up here. And, you know, I climb up here and I get this marvelous view and it is totally worth it. There's a lake here and everything, and I can see a boat over over there. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but like I said, this is totally breathtaking. It was totally worth the work that I put in to get up here. And I'm here, and it's just interesting to remember. Here I was talking about a lot of those softball, golf ball size dimples in the ground. Rather interesting feature to say the least. Well here is the carving of Stone Mountain. Just to show you how big the carving is. And I'll pan around and show you some of the rest of the mountain. Just to give you an idea of the size and scope of how this is. I'm just pretty close by and you can see it just goes on in either direction and to give you a little idea of size comparison those are full-grown trees over there and you might be able to see a cable going up that's the lift that some people go earlier today I climbed up to the top of it really enjoy myself of course, I wonder in this area where the trees are, how many hats, sunglasses, and cameras are in there? At least busted up to pieces cameras. Not like mine, which is whole in one piece because I didn't drop it. 